So yeah, as I was as I was kind of rudely getting into before uh, before Rob was so kind enough to mention the important stuff, um, Elon <laughs> Elon made a post on Twitter's and he said, "Should I step down as head of Twitter? I will abide by the results of this poll." Well, actually, I could check the poll as of this very moment, but is it seventeen million? Save this. The, yeah, I'm just looking for the amount as of like this was like twenty out. Is that right now? So it's seventeen million five hundred thousand people voted, and currently there are fifty-seven point five percent of the people that say yes, he should step down. Forty-five, forty-two point five percent say no, he should not step down. Um, then there's never a solid poll, is there? It's always just like me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I personally, Twitter looks like it's going through some like emotional damage. Uh, emotional damage. Emotional damage. And it looks like, you know, it, it, it almost kind of r- reminds me of, like, your buddy that, like, broke up with his girlfriend, and he's just in this hot mess right now. He doesn't want to go out anywhere. He doesn't want to clean himself. He doesn't want to shower. And every time you check in on him, it just, he just looks a little bit worse. Uh, that's kind of the state of Twitter right now, man. And I'm not saying it's any one person's fault. It's because, in my opinion... There's the people that want to see it succeed, and then there's the people that don't want to see it to succeed. The people that don't want to see it succeed are much louder and much better at making a stink about these kind of things. I don't give a fuck what happens to Twitter. I really don't care what happens to Musk. Uh, I don't even really like Twitter to begin with. I kind of think it's a hot mess even before it got all uh, messed up. So, yeah, yeah, uh... As I'm looking over there, it says, what's happening? Lions at Jets, Twitter CEO, hashtag, if Santa Lions were a Jets? woman. With... Well, hang on. Let me circle, circle back a little bit. Circle back. Go ahead. So, Ellen over here, I think he bought the fucking company, right? Yeah. It's his company, right? Yeah. The fuck you want, dog? You know, like, yeah. I, I, it doesn't make any sense. I like that Tom Jeff jumped in and has an opinion here. Depends oh, who Tom? you got to run it. If I can yeah. see Tom from yeah. MySpace pops in, he's got, always got an opinion. Always. Now, yeah. I don't think that it should matter, but if he's trying to run this successfully, this is why he's doing it. Yeah. You know, I'm not hating. I'm not hating. Uh, he's, I, he's realistically trying to care. do what he can do to make it better with what he what he's already done. I'm just and I mean it's already it's moving faster. They've done some things to the UI and and um not the UI, more the UX, the user experience, which is kind of cool. Yeah, but if well, people don't like the person running it, it could really hinder the user base because you've got it. a lot of celebrities who are dropping off, and you got other people who will just be because they don't like Elon Musk. Yep, yep, yeah. It's kind of it kind of goes that way, you know. It seems Elon fired what seventy five hundred employees, seventy or maybe it was seventy five percent, maybe it was twenty five hundred employees. So seventy five percent of the workforce Elon fired, and Twitter's still running the exact same. So I'm kind of curious what those other 2,500 employees were doing because, like, it, bro, there's every... a lot of places, a lot of places that just run over overstaffed. The company I started working with oh, here, totally. You totally. know, we were yeah. way overstaffed, and now we don't have that, and we're running better. Yeah, well, that's you've got you've got a an individual for human resources. You've got somebody that does human managing. You've got someone that's on, you know, bias control. Somebody that's doing. You know, like it's just there's a head of diversity, a head of integrity, a head of it's just like whoa, 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 whoa. Like I, I don't think any of this is necessary. Wasted money, bro. <clears throat> yep, yep. Wasted money. So yeah, I look at it yeah. like it's a lot of companies who just are are inflated, and it's easier to get more money, and then you bring people on who you fuck with, and like, hey, bring in my buddy here, my buddy there, my buddy there. Yeah. It's like no, yep. they gotta yep. add value, and if they don't add value, they don't need to be there. And maybe I'm yep. cutthroat, maybe no. I'm Elon Musk style, but like. No. Do fucking work, get things done, and honestly, yeah, just like Honey Bunches of Slugs says over here, bunch of slugs says over here on uh, Twitch, you know, less people blaming each other. Are you going to yep. be like, no, it was so-and-so, or it was so-and-so. It's like, no, motherfucker, it was no. you. Yeah, one person in charge. It's work. you. Get it done. Wrong Take word. action. It's, you know, responsibility should be on the person who's executing the work. Why do you need that many people? You don't, clearly. Because <laughs> you know. Elon got rid of them all, and it's still running, so... Yeah, crazy things happen in the Twitter space. It uh, never stops. I'm curious to see how it goes, though. You know, um, he was also seen uh, the the uh, the World Cup. Actually, Elon oh, yeah? was with Jared Kushner. Yeah, at uh, the World Cup. It was Habib. 
uh, allegedly, now of course you got to like, I I never know who to take the sources from. Kushner and Musk were discussing the takeover of Twitter and who might be the one to be his successor. Oh, yeah, it makes sense that Kushner's involved with that. Oh, it's right up his alley, right? Isn't isn't he just like a Twitter genius? Doesn't he just run Twitters in the background? Like he's got a huge me- social dun, dun, media portfolio. Look at all the evil Doesn't money it? sitting there. Dun, <laughs> dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Allegedly evil money. Like I don't look at the whole mix there, bro. There's no. It's no conspiracy that Qatar is a fucking massive hole of human rights violations. Like it's just crazy, so. dude. Like even just sitting looking at this whole. You couldn't have photoshopped a better setup here. You got Elon Musk who's trying to control a narrative of a You've platform. You got the world's eventually. richest people in one fucking shot. In one shot. Kings and then you got the evil man princes. looking right at the camera. Just dun, dun, dun. <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, Crazy, man. bro. Crazy stuff, I don't trust man. nothing. Nope. Nope. I don't trust what a world nothing. we live, bro. What a world we live. Nuts, man. Nuts. But yeah, that's the nudes. We're curious what you think, whether it's, uh, you know, in regards to Ellen, in regards to Qatar, in regards to Twitter. Always curious what you guys think. Don't be afraid to share your opinions in the chat. We don't tolerate anybody being like fucking negative to anybody else. If you don't agree with something we said, get out of here. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> no, just, no, I'll talk a little shit back. Like if somebody's like disrespectful, they're like, you well, dis- so unprofessional. I talk shit back. Yeah, guys. disrespectful is one thing. But if you've got a differing opinion, please voice it, man. We can handle a conversation around here. And whether you agree, disagree or really have no clue which is what rob and i kind of find ourselves saying most of the time because most of the time yeah who are we you know what i mean and so other than fact telling reporting journalist geniuses fact telling (laughs) fact telling reporters that we identify as so don't take away nobody can take that from us bro 